welcome to Red Dawn Survival. What we have here, as you can see, is the Katadyne Waka filter. It's a vintage model. Obviously, you can tell by the discoloration of the tube, which is still flexible. Um, found it in my camping gear. Uh, I've had it for 26 years. So anyways, uh, as you saw previously in the video, I have extracted two sources of water, one from the Grand River and the other one from Thompson Creek. Thompson Creek is just a few miles up the way on the river, it empties into the Grand River. Uh, we had a lot of rain several days ago and um, the Grand River, as you can see, um, I, this has been here for a while. You can note the turbidity silt in the Grand River. It's settled the last couple of days because I had a mic problem, so I've had to hold back on this, this um, product review here. Product review of something not new, but something old. Anyways, um, stay tuned. For the okay, welcome back, folks. You can see uh, I made a few changes to the set. Um, it's been several days now since my last uh, clip of the uh, product review of the vintage Katadyne pocket water filter. Anyways, uh, we'll move along here. And um, I'll just once ag again explain that uh, I have two collections of water from the Grand River and from Thompson Creek. Uh, the Grand River, as you probably noticed in the beginning of the videos, uh, was fairly turbulent and fairly muddy water. It's had time to settle, uh, but as you can see that um, it still remains um, a lot of sediment in the water. Um, the Thompson Creek, uh, it's a small creek. It empties into uh, the Grand River. I've collected this uh, Grand River water was from a local uh, boat ramp and the Thompson Creek empties into the Grand River It was just about a mile up the creek there up the river and um, as you can see uh, from the video uh, Thompson Creek is uh, a body of water which is fairly still it's not a running moving creek actually it's dammed up by um, a highway with a culvert and uh, so a lot of that water is backed up and it sits and as you can see there's a lot of algae uh, growing up there. Uh, Thompson Creek, it drains uh, basically uh, farmland, some Carolinian forests. Um, it's part of an eco uh, center for the county and um, they've uh, rehabilitated uh, some land into some prairie grasslands. So, which drains into the uh, Thompson Creek. So, um, yeah, they're doing some remedial work there to improve, uh, try to improve the Thompson Creek. But anyways, that's where that body of water, this uh, collection of water is from. And uh, the Grand River, um, it's, it's quite a vast river. And uh, just to show you a quick little map here, uh, the Grand River it basically... Uh, comprised about 2,600 square miles of uh, land, which includes many cities. And yeah, population is uh, over 2 million people. And um, I'm down here in the Dunville area. So you can imagine uh, all the drainage of all the cities, the urban areas, the forests. Um, the Carolinian Forest and um, has a lot of tributaries in here. So the collection of water that I've taken, the sample of water, we're way down at the bottom. And so you can imagine what is really in this water. Uh, it had, uh, we had a couple days of uh, good rain in the valley. So that uh, turbulent water uh, video that you saw in the beginning, that's all water that's drained from the upper valley and we're very close to the mouth of the river so uh, yes there's a lot of sediment uh, obviously from this uh, sample here but who knows what else is in that water so anyways um, 
getting to the uh, Ketadyne pocket water filter, uh, the vintage one here, yes, it's 25 years old. And um, anyone who has a newer version of it, um, you can see the differences. Um, I have a T handle, they have a round handle to match the palm of your hand. Um, here, they put a shock absorber basically just to take away that pounding uh, onto the housing here. Um, probably make it um, but comfortable to use. And um, the spout on this filter here, um, the newer version has a nipple very similar to the bottom. And um, you have a hose uh, which is able to, actually it's here, that in here okay this is um, I like this idea um, but they've given you a much longer hose and it's a better um, uh, intake uh, which I'll explain in just a minute um, the housing is blue with the, the older version uh, the newer version is black uh, the bottom has two rubber feet here in the older version, whereas the newer one has uh, uh, a round base with a uh, much larger rubberized uh, bottom. Just gives you better stability on your surfaces, mostly probably whatever a hard surface. But I found uh, this was sufficient here. Okay, so, uh, and yes, the, um, the hose, 25 years old, still soft, supple. It may be discolored a little bit. Um, the float, still soft, good shape, isn't deteriorated at all. Um, I like this one, but I know they've made the uh, this one here a little smaller, probably just to make it easier to fit in uh, the uh, carrying bag, but... Um, Anyways, um, uh, they both serve the purpose of basically keeping your uh, intake off the bottom of your Creeker River. This particular intake they used back then and 25 years ago, um, this, um, the end, stainless steel end with a screen mesh. Um, I think they, they did, in fact, they did change it. Um, here, uh, they have the smaller float they have a coarse um, water filter. They basically have called this the strainer for larger pieces like leaves and, and sticks. But then they've really improved. Um, they put a, a, a smaller, finer uh, filter here. And um, however, I think that um, in spite of the screen mesh, whether it's this or even the finer one, uh, that sediment is just like talcum powder. Um, when you see it down at the bottom, it's it's. I've lived and worked along the river, and I've I've seen the silt, and it's just like talcum powder. So um, I think you know they've wanted to uh, try to eliminate as much contamination of the. Uh, a filter to the ceramic filter here uh, just to keep it uh, uh, as so it doesn't get clogged up as often um, but um, anyways I think I've covered that um, for this section of the video um, we'll, we'll uh, come back um, I'm gonna take this apart I'm gonna show you the inside of it um, and so anyways um, stay tuned. Thank you.